A snowmobile's secondary drive system, which includes the chain case, sprockets, and chain, is an intermediate gear reduction drive system. In addition to transferring power from the CVT to the track drive axle, the secondary drive system also provides the necessary gear reduction between the CVT and the track. Without gear reduction here, once the CVT fully upshifts, the track would spin as fast as the engine RPM. This one-to-one -one ratio would be far too fast for the track and suspension components. Most new snowmobiles ship from the factory with reasonably high secondary gearing. In fact, most are slightly overgeared, meaning they are geared for a top speed of 5 to 10 miles per hour or 8 to 16 kilometers per hour beyond what the machine is expected to achieve with ideal gearing under perfect conditions. As a result, the CVT drive belt does not travel all the way to the top of the drive clutch. This overgearing is normal and is intended to accommodate snowmobiles that run under widely varying conditions. Suppose a snowmobile was geared to attain full CVT upshift under average conditions. Then, under ideal conditions, such as running on a perfectly smooth, frozen surface, the CVT would fully upshift. As a result, the engine would most likely exceed its maximum recommended RPM. Overrevving, in turn, could lead to overheating and eventual engine damage. Merely installing a driven gear with too fewer teeth will increase the snowmobile's top speed by approximately 5 km per hour. It is for this reason that only experienced technicians who fully understand the potential consequences should perform gear ratio modifications. Going to higher ratios can also lead to reduced belt life and track delamination. However, altering the chain case gear reduction ratio is sometimes required for specific applications. Occasionally, it may be necessary to slightly change the gear ratio on snowmobiles used for hauling heavy loads. In high altitude applications, to maintain acceptable performance, it may also be required to change the drive ratio. The number of sprocket teeth on both the drive and the driven sprockets can be increased or decreased. Refer to the machine's technical publications and suggested high altitude calibration for the recommended gear ratios.